Hey everybody, welcome to episode 263 of Psycho's Platters. I'm always powered by coffee each and every time. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to mention uh, thank you to all that have seen uh, the two parts of the Jessica Peace tribute videos that I've made over the last month and the kind comments and prayers and good wishes from the VC here. Um, uh, please continue to say prayers for my father, Jerry, who has liver and pancreatic cancer. Um, just please say your prayers. Um, and uh, my grandson, Ethan, who's still uh, battling illness, and for myself as well in, in a minor scope of things. Um, also, I uh, thank the people so far that have watched the 600 subscriber contest video. If you have not seen that, um, check that out, please. Uh, the only addendum I have to make to that 600 sub video, and I was kind of out of it, so I have to apologize, is you must be a subscriber to, uh, to be able to enter the contest, please, okay? Uh, like I said, you can do a comment, you can do a video, um, refer to the 600 sub contest video as to what the question is and what I'm asking for. Uh, today, um, I'm going to go off and this is going to be kind of like a mishmash episode. Uh, I've got a little VCLT along with some signed albums uh, that I would like to show you here uh, that I picked up. Um, the VCLT comes from the host of the Vinyl Grotto radio show, Doug Fields, that's right. Doug Fields went off and um, and gave me um, some some uh, oop, laser discs, some video discs. Okay, um, first one right off the bat. I, I thought this was totally awesome. It's still in the shrink sort of here in its own way. It says this stereo video disc will play on any stereo or monural. CED system. Michael Nesmith. Yes, Michael Nesmith and Elephant Parts. Uh, here's the front. Here's the back on this. Um, and of course, he knows how much of a Monkees fan I am. This here says uh, 1981. And uh, of course, I've got it on DVD uh, signed by Michael. But it's very cool to see it in this format, honestly. So, Mike Nesmith in Elephant Parts. Also, Billy Joel, Long from Long, Long Island. Blech, can't talk straight. Here's the front and here's the back on that. Uh, let's see, when did it say that this was done? I know it says copyright 1983. So, and it says the CED stands for Campusence Electronic Disc System. So, Billy Joel. I think that's kind of cool, honestly. Also, Daryl Hall, John Oates, Rock and Soul Live. Here's the front. Here's the back on this. This is an RCA video disc. Uh, in this lineup, you got Daryl Hall, John Oates, G.E. Smith, Tom T-Bone, Wolk, Mil Mickey Curry, and Charlie DeChant are in the band on this one here. This also says copyright 1983. Um, Elton John Visions. Here's the front. Here's the back. Uh, this one from also from '83. I've never even heard or seen anything like this before, so kind of strange, to say the least. And then lastly, a pair of Paul McCartney's. Say goodbye to Broad, or give my regards to Broad Street, excuse me. You know what? I like McCartney. God, I hated this movie. I, I did. I did. And the soundtrack is okay. It's not great. Uh, I originally saw this on VHS. I, don't, I cannot remember if it came to DVD. If it did, I haven't seen it yet. So to see this... Uh, out here, which is pretty cool. This, of course, from '84 uh, when it came out. 
Um, so that, and then, the last one for this, uh, I heard about this, um, and of course this is another RCA video disc, it says MPL presents Paul McCartney and Wings Rock Show in concert on video disc at last. This is the front, this is the back, um, yeah, 23 songs from Wings at their best in concert on video at last. Uh, this one here, I am led to believe, was from the 76 tour. Uh, I am trying to remember, uh, and if anybody can help me in the comments on this, did Rock Show ever get a DVD or Blu-ray release? Because I actually would like to get that uh, and see this, uh, but it's still neat to have on a video disc um, on that kind of stuff. The only other video discs that I have is uh, I came across, I think I might have shown this a long time ago, uh, Vintage Stock let this one slip. Maybe it was because the corner was water damaged. I have no clue. But it was a double disc uh, Beatles Help from Japan. 99 cents. I could not believe. And it looked like it never was played either. And I was just like, wow. Um, and I also know uh, and I've seen it. Doug Fields has uh, has got the anthology. The Beatles anthology was made on video disc uh, in the 90s revival because the laser disc originally came out in the early 80s. Then it came back in the mid 90s. I don't know why, but it did. And uh, and he's got that set. It was kind of a cool looking set too. Um, so that. Is the is what he gave me. Uh, there also was some other things too, but I can't seem to get to them right now. Uh, okay, so signed albums. I was at a Goodwill here in town, and uh, fifty cents a piece. I think they screwed up the prices because it should have been more than this. But hey, I am not going to complain on that. Uh, the, all of these, though, are signed to a Doris. Uh, <laughs> I really have no clue. Um, first one, these are all country-related, okay? Sylvia on RCA. Here's the front, here's the back. This is, I could tell, was signed in 84. That's what she wrote after that. I may not be Doris, but I'm not going to let these sit there. Um... I cannot read some of this. Oh, sorry, you could you couldn't make it. Uh, Doris, sorry, you couldn't make it. Um, signed, Kathy Matea, front and back, to Doris. Um, this one here, to Doris, love you, Louise Mandrell. And lastly, I almost didn't see this. Uh, this, of course, is uh, huh, uh, Brenda Lee's. Brenda Lee, excuse me. Greatest Country Hits is a gold stamp promo. But I just happened to look on the back, and of course, it says to Doris, love Brenda Lee. And uh, it's kind of neat to have, because uh, if I remember correctly, she's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it's kind of nice to be able to have this as well. But for 50 cents a piece, I was not going to pass those up. Um, also, there's a lot of um, record booths in uh, in Northwest Arkansas. Some are good, some are not so good. And I went to this one um, in Tawny Town is the name of the town, Tawny Town, Arkansas, and. Uh, it, it was, uh, they decided, uh, this, with only like a week's notice, this was a couple weeks back, that they were going to have an outdoor sale. The, this vinyl dealer was going to come and do this. And so he said he was bringing 2,000 albums. Um, I will show you in another video what I got out of there. I did find some things I've been looking for for a while. 2,000 albums, supposedly, two bucks a piece. There was a lot of clunkers. There was some...
cool 50s and early 60s stuff, but all scratched up. And I found some 80s albums, which I grabbed those. But whoever bought anything at this sale qualified to win. Originally, it was one of four signed albums. It ended up being stretched to one of seven prizes. One of them was a still sealed Pink Floyd Adam Hart Mother. Uh, and then the other six were all signed albums. And uh, there was only 14 people <laughs> that showed up during the time he was doing these drawings. So my, my, uh, my odds were better than the lottery. So I ended up winning one. And what I ended up winning, and I'm guessing on this. Actually, I don't have to guess anymore. I am so sorry. I actually found a, a year marker. A complete fan-signed Boogie Motel from Foghat from 98. I do remember Foghat getting back together. Uh, I think it was... Oh, geez, what was it? 93, 94? I think they got back together to do the Attack of the Boogeyman LP for Rhino. And then they pretty much stayed together till, if I remember correctly, it was 99 or 2000. So, I know for a fact on here, I've got Lonesome Dave, I've got Rod Price, and I've got Roger Earl. The fourth autograph is a question. I, 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 think, it's, I think it's Tony Stevens. Uh, so, yes. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know why Tony would have signed this, because um, I don't think he was in the band at this time. It was, uh, it was, uh, oh, jeez, Craig McGregor, but... Beggars Can't Be Choosers. They had another Fog Hat album, which would have made more sense. It was uh, Rock and Roll Outlaws, but somebody grabbed that one first, so I got this one. Uh, the other one that I was into um, was a signed Who Are You by John Entwistle. But when I took a look at the Entwistle autograph, it was very faint. Uh, it was signed in the mid-90s at... Remember Blockbuster Music? <laughs> yeah, somewhere out in California, there was a Blockbuster Music. I remember there was a Blockbuster Music in uh, in my neck of the woods in Illinois. That didn't last real long. So needless to say, I picked up a band signed Fog Hat Boogie Motel. I've always liked Fog Hat. I, I have a soft spot for them. I don't know why. Um, but that's pretty much it for the show, guys. I apologize. I will bring up uh, new subscribers' names in the next video. Uh, Wax Museum with Ronnie Dark and Night Owl Lounge Mike Adams Sunday nights 6 to 9 p.m. Central Standard followed by 9 to 10 for Mike's show WVOA 87.7 Syracuse, New York go listen on Uber stations it is an excellent show in fact next coming Sunday they will have David Marks uh, Beach Boy doing an interview um, let's see uh you know what, guys? I'm tired. There's others out there. But, you know, thank you for the YouTube vinyl community. Without the YouTube vinyl community, we would not be able to do these nice, fine shows. Uh, like I said, again, please like and subscribe to Psycho Splatters if you haven't already. Um, and, and, you know, when you sub, then you can enter the contest. It's just a neat little fun contest, you know, for a small prize. It works out really well. Um, I love you guys. I really, really do. And uh, take care. God bless. Rock on. And I'll see you next time.